If this were Xenoblade, I'd be crying of amazement. Because look at this. This world is huge. Huge world. Huge kid. And huge giant tree thing that I have to explore for about an hour. Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. So last time, we arrived here at the Forest Haven, and we met with the Deku Tree. However, problems arose as he told us about a young Korok named Makar who fell into the Forbidden Woods here. So, we gotta go save him in order to get our next plot device, so let's not waste any more time and just go right in. And here we are, folks. The second dungeon, Forbidden Woods. We saw these before. These are green choo-choos. So, of course, they're just like regular choo-choos, only they're a little bit stronger. But, honestly, that's not really that much of a difference, honestly. <laughs> they move just about the same as red choo-choos do. So, really, a quick spin attack will indeed finish them off with style. But, the drops they give are different. They're green this time. Instead of filling it with a magical essence that could heal stuff, it's a magical gelatinous essence, even though it can't be used in its current form. So, yeah. We will be able to do something with that later on, but for now we gotta figure out a way to get past the door. I have a giant nut thing that I have in the palm of my hand, so let's throw that. But, before we move on with our lives here... I might as well tell you right now, I did not, I did not practice this dungeon at all. So, I'm gonna have to do this completely by memory and get every single chest, chest that way. So yeah, just expect a lot of stuff from me, believe you me. Okay, so you may have also noticed that I lost another half a heart on the way here because, well, the game is, well, the game, <laughs> the game basically drops you off wherever you, like, last saved, in a sense that, uh, uh, oh, sorry about that, that was a phone call, so, apparently this thing targeting me was a Boko, Boko Baba this entire time, but, no big deal, no big deal. By the way, uh, we got another one of these things. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't. We can't really seem to find a way to break that. At least not yet. So we're gonna have to wait for a little bit. There's actually a bit to do in this room. However, we won't do such things until you know that one word, that one five-letter word that we use a lot later. Because later is always a fun time. By the way, uh, we gotta get into these buds and basically jump toward victory, or sp get spewed out to victory, I don't know. Basically get spewed out to victory. The nice thing about the, the Baba Buds, I, or the Boko Buds? The, the Buds. I'm just gonna call them the Buds. The nice thing about the Buds is that they at least allow you to restore some of your magic power, so that's good. That is very good, especially considering that, you know, you have to use the Deku Leaf a lot in this dungeon. And trust me, we will be using this thing a lot. In fact, we already are using this thing a lot. Just to get to places. Because that's a thing. Hello. You are not a big old threat to me at all. Speaking of which... <laughs> yep. Yep. And there it is. Alright, throw that bo- Actually, no, that's not it. That's not it. I had to get a little closer to destroy that thing. Now, uh, I'm actually wondering... Can I get this now? Because there is a treasure in this room that I wanna get... That's here. And I am hoping that I can actually get this one, like, right now. If not, then I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. So, yeah, let's just go. Yeah, I can't really do that yet. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. And I want to get those rupees, but I can't. Ugh. <laughs> ah, whatever. 
Either way, uh, right over here, we got a little bit of a mechanic right here that we can use with the Deku Leaf. Is these spinning, rotating thingies. So basically, use your Deku Leaf to blow a gust of wind onto that thing. And then, use another gust to do the same thing with that one. So, yeah, it's basically a way to get up to maneuver across. And also, don't fall off, because you will get hurt. Of course. You will pass out and then you will die. That's how it is. I should actually follow my own advice and actually use the Deku Leaf or the Grappling Hook more often to get the enemy drops. Ow. Thank you very much. Thank you, P-Hat, for making me not... for making me nearly dead. And for making the music go faster. Yeah. Yeah, the, the battle music actually goes a little bit faster, like, the closer you are to death. Which is... Which kind of gives a feeling of more intensity. But at the same time, I'm going to have to hear that. <laughs> I'm going to have to hear that now, unless I heal. So, yeah. Either way, defeat these babas right here. And if... Okay. So defeat one of them, at least. And one of them should turn into a baba bud that you can, you know, do the things with, that you can spew out things. Yes, you can spew out things with a baba thing. Deal with it. Alright, so we got another one of these spinning things. I keep calling things things, man. I'm sorry. I do not know their official names. Listen, everyone. Listen to me, everyone. I know for a fact that I know what I'm doing. But in terms of names, I don't. I'm terrible with them. So if, so you'll excuse me if I'm, if I'm terrible at memorizing stuff. It's just how I am, man. That's just how I am. I'm not that one dude who I keep on referring to as the dude. I'm not the guy who is all, you know, all about them Nintendo games and the editing. I'm not him. I am me. And what you see with me is what you get with me, so... Save yourself some time. Um, I did see there was a treasure chest down there, so I want to get that. So, hopefully I can get that without doing too much trouble. Yeah, I can just do that, no problem. Let's see, what is this? Oh, it's a red rupee, okay. That's cool. Uh, let's actually see. Nothing! Of course not. Of course not. Why would there be something in here? To make things interesting? No, I am not. No, it is not. Because it isn't. Alright, so go into this door, and now we have this part. You think you can just go ahead and get this, but nope. There are all these thorns in here to block the way. And, if you know a thing that you can do to do things, well, here you go. Just simply use the Deku Leaf in order to, well, get this big old thing out of the thorn trap, I guess. Now, you have to destroy that thing with the nut, of course. And here we have the sort of main hub of the thing, of the Forbidden Woods right here. Which is this big old flower with all these, like, vines holding it up. So, just remember that. So just remember this room, because you're gonna be... You're gonna be exploring in here a little bit. In fact, that's what I said about the Dragon Roost Hub, and we all know how that turned out. That turned out horribly, because I lied. Alright, so we got some platforming right here, so... Let's hop across these little platforms right here. Got another one of these nuts. The world's biggest nut. It's a meme now. Get these rupees. And, uh, yeah. So, just go over here. Destroy that. And I don't think... Wait, hold on. What's up here? Because I have a feeling that something is going to be important up here. I don't know, but I think something's up here. No, I don't think so. Uh, is it? Oh. There's like a little thing up here. Can I just take a leaf this? Ah, okay. Another warp jar right there. Yeah, cool. 
So, yeah, I failed to point it out. There is a warp jar at the beginning of these dungeons. Oh, God. I have two and a half hearts left. I am going to die. I'm gonna die. But wait, don't I have a potion? Well, I have a fairy that I can use, but I don't have I don't have any potion. So, boo on that. Uh, there's a treasure chest down there, but we got these enemies right here. These little spike ball guys. So basically, all they do is just sort of weigh you down. They don't really do anything aside from weigh you down. So, I guess that's something. But either way, there are plenty of ways to shake them off. Uh, you can do a spin attack, or you can just roll around until they eventually all, you know, just get off of you. So... Yeah, I don't really see any point to those guys. And now we have a little bit of a maze here, so... You're gonna have to figure out your way throughout these little thorn thingies that keep popping up. And... Well... This maze won't be really that hard to figure- Oh, God. <laughs> Just as I was about to say, this maze isn't that hard to figure out, and then, oh, God, these... And then suddenly, some things come up. Ow. Okay, if I have... If I happen to die, it is not my fault, so save yourself some time, man. Save me, save me some time, and I will save you some time. With the general. Oh god. I am nearly dead? I am nearly the dead. Okay, so... I guess I gotta hover over here. And basically use up this bomb. To blow this up. Just like I always do. And that will cause me to get this little thing. And it's the compass. Very nice. And we all know what it does. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time on that. We all know what it does from day one. And... Oh! <laughs> yeah, here's actually part two to the bomb thing. You have to throw that bomb over there so you can break that thing apart. There you go. Problem solved. Mission solved. The end. Actually, it isn't really... Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay. I get it. I get it. Hero mode can cause me to die. If I die here. <laughs> if I die. That's a goal. That's actually a goal. I do not want to actually get a game over. I mean, if I die, then whoopsie-daisy, but if I don't die, then okay. So, yeah, uh, let's actually see what's inside these uh, little pots right here. Let's see. And it's, ooh, a joy pendant, okay. Okay, so we got a joy pendant. We got nothing. And watch this also be nothing. Ooh, a magic refill, okay. So I guess that's good. That's good. But as we go back... Uh, nothing really happens, okay. You can actually blow these guys away with the simple use of your Deku Leaf. So I guess that's good. Another way that you can easily deal with them and- Oh, okay! Oh, okay, I'm ignoring all of you. I'm ignoring every single one of you because you are mean. Oh god. <laughs> Oh god, I do not want to die. I do not want to die. I do not want to die. I don't want to die. Uh-uh. I don't want to see this face that Link's making. He's like... He's like... He's like pissed. So, yeah. But either way, this room. You have another one of these things, but this time you got P-hats to deal with. So, this could be tricky. This could be tricky. Especially considering that the Deku Leaf doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really kill them, it just more or less stuns them. But, another neat thing that you can do is actually use the wind to your advantage. By actually blowing the opposite way. That way you can get your little cart thing to, well, spin around and, oh god, I am definitely going to have to heal now. Uh, oh, there it is. I was wondering why I didn't show up. Because I was paused. 
Okay, either way, I had to heal right there because right there. That little moth guy. Right there. That could be potentially awkward! Because this guy, basically, every time you hit him, he spews out more of those, like, spike ball enemies. And stuff. So, that's a thing you'll have to watch out for. Plus, I think... I think he's, like... I think he hits hard. <laughs> up! Please. Please, baby, please. I don't want. I do not want. Thank you. Ugh. Okay, let's get away from you because I don't want to... Oh! I don't want to... Ugh. Oh. How did I do that? How did I... Okay. So, so far so good with this dungeon. So far so good. I've been getting through it just fine, but... But, I'm not out of the woods yet, apparently. So, this little mini-boss right here... I will show its name on screen because I forget... Is... well... Here's his deal. Or her deal. Because I'm assuming that it's a... It's a female. So basically what this bo mini-boss is going to do is... Every time you hit her... You're gonna have to basically use your Deku Leaf and also... To use your shield. In defense. Basically, she just goes around spewing out more of those, like, little baby things to weigh you down. So that you you won't be able to move out of the way of her attacks. And basically, whenever she's open, use your Deku Leaf to stun her a little bit. And then jump attack to victory. Or use just a regular sword attack, of course. Using your shield is actually really, really helping me out right now, actually. Because, well, it's, it's helping me not get hit. So, yeah. You may have also noticed that you can also parry, parry the attacks as well. So, yeah, another method of defense that you can do just to make this fight a little bit, a little less slow. But, it's all good. Everything is all good. Because, wow, she, it drops a golden feather, okay. That's cool. But either way, what's our item tempo going to be? Let's see. It's the Boomerang! We can set it to our usual items, of course. Target specific objects by holding the button you set it to and aiming at something until the red targeting cursor changes to a... thing. You can target up to five objects at once. So that's good! That's good! Alright, so... With the aiming of the gyroscope and your movement with the left stick, as is in the HD version of Wind Waker, making this a lot more awesome. You can target up to five objects at once. And of course, everything is indicated by the little cursor thing on your screen. So, the boomerang is gonna get some really valuable use, honestly. Like, okay. If I'm gonna be perfectly honest about this boomerang. Like, this boomerang is probably... It's probably by far my favorite boomerang in the entire series. Like, I don't count Breath of the Wild because there are a lot of different boomerangs that you can use it for. Plus, you can use it as a regular weapon. But in terms of this boomerang, it's actually really interesting. It was actually really, really interesting the first time because I ended up using it a lot. To just, you know, basically target things from far away. Cut down things, as you can see, from right over here. Plus, it goes really, really far. And more often than not... When out in the sea, you're going to be using it. You are going to be using it when you're encountering enemies out at sea. So that's also very good, too. But uh, we're not exactly done with this room yet, actually. So what we want to do next here is actually climb up from here. Basically hold ZR to make a full stop, of course. And uh, I think there's another... Yeah, there's another thing right here. Another thing that you can climb up on. Or actually, you can just let go from here. Okay. So, letting go of that. Let's just go up here. And... Let's do this. Let's get this chest. And it's another droid pendant. So, yeah. Really stocking up on these. 
Okay, so let's check the map right here. Uh... Well, we only have really a few chests to go. Plus, there's still that basement floor that we've yet to explore. So I think we're basically all good in terms of treasure chests so far. So, yeah. But either way, we are done here, actually. So, we've gotten our fancy boomerang and we started our little expedition of the Forbidden Woods right here. So, we are going to stop things here. Next time on Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD, we're going to continue through the Forbidden Woods with our brand new boomerang in hand. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.